It was a dream come true for Colombia when they reached the World Cup for the first time since 1998. During the match against Chile that ensured the Colombian team's trip to Brazil, they managed to rally from being 3-0 down to wangle a 3-3 draw. This was very, very emotional. First Chile, we were suffering, but then no longer. We managed to score and we're going to the World Cup. We will support the national team at all times. As the second South American team to qualify after Argentina, eighth in the FIFA rankings and with an outstanding defense, Colombia has high expectations for its team. We're calm with this group. We're trying to isolate ourselves in the sense that we want to avoid the pressure getting to us. So we're quite calm, but we're anxious, of course. We're waiting for the moment to be able to show why we've made it to the World Cup. But Colombia was rattled when coach Jose Peckerman announced that the team's talismanic striker, Radamel Falcao, will miss the World Cup. The country had been holding its breath since the star player sustained a knee injury, playing for his club Monaco in January. But the team's medical experts deemed Falcao's fitness level unsatisfactory and he was dropped from the 23-player squad. When these things happen, we're very sad because these are players that bring a lot to the team. And we're a family. We're sorry when a teammate goes. Colombia is drawn in Group C in Brazil with Ivory Coast, Greece and Japan. Their hopes of making it into the second round will in part rest now on the shoulders of Falcao's Monaco teammate, midfielder James Rodriguez. Colombia will play their opening match against Greece on June 14th in Belo Horizonte.